Now the storm is expected to have a major impact on holiday travelers. So the city is pulling out all the stops to keep everyone as safe as possible. Our Shelly Bortz joins us now with details on what they're doing. Shelly. Well, ladies, the city's main concern is getting everyone home or to their destination for the holiday weekend safely. And like you said, that's why they say they're pulling out all the stops to ensure everyone's safety beginning tonight. We don't know how bad the storm is going to be, but we know in order to treat the streets, make sure that they're ready, we need people to be out of the streets. All eyes will be on the skies tomorrow morning as we see today's rain change over into snow. Add in fast falling temperatures and gusty winds only makes for potentially dangerous roads for travel the day before Christmas. While Mayor Ed Ganey urges folks to stay home, if you can't, know the city is working nonstop to keep you safe. We're going to have crews on overnight, full, full shift. Um, ready and prepped to go. We're well over 60 trucks overnight. Um, we anticipate um, over 75 tomorrow um, in the daylight and then you know, potentially another 60 overnight on Friday. In addition to the treacherous roadways facing the city, according to officials, are the frigid temperatures, strong winds of up to 50 miles per hour, and dangerous wind chills of negative 25. The city will have five warming centers available this weekend for those in need. They include healthy, active living community centers in Brighton Heights, Greenfield, Sheridan, Southside Market House, and Homewood. If you don't have to go outside, please don't. If you are inside and do what you can to keep warm, if you have insufficient heating or concerns there, we do have the warming centers. The city says they want to be prepared for whatever is thrown at them during the first big winter storm of the season. Their top priority is to ensure every single person is safe. So they say they're pulling out all the stops. And when this storm passes, they say they'll reconvene and see how they can better prepare next time. We've never beat a Pittsburgh winner. Pittsburgh winner is a Pittsburgh winner. So we're trying to do what we're trying to do is make sure that we are meeting the moment from housing, from shelter, from DPW, from public safety. And as always, officials urge drivers to slow down and leave extra space between their vehicle and the one in front of them. And also leave extra early for your trips, especially tomorrow morning. Reporting live tonight, Shelly Bortz, KDKA News.